Hello, everybody. Everybody, uh, Zandra, um, along with a very handsome Tim, is Shackleford, correct? Sure. Shackleford. And we're going to talk again relationships. This is the workshop series um, number three, um, class number four. And again, we're talking with single men um, who want to just, you know, discuss what they've learned in over their, you know, during their life and during relationships, what they would do differently, what, um, what works, what doesn't work. So this is a casual conversation with a single brother. Um, so again, I want you to like, share these videos, uh, make sure if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section um, underneath this particular live broadcast. Again, it's going to be on YouTube as well, so you can share it with your friends. Um, I guess we can get started. So um, we can start with a word of prayer. And since you're the gentleman, I'd like to I'd like, ask if you want to do that. If not, I could do that. I can do that. Okay. Sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for this time of sharing, uh, passing knowledge to each other that we both can learn and gain from this experience. We yes. thank you for our, the honor to host of this show, Zandra. Thank you, Father. We pray that you would meet all of her needs and the, the needs of her audience and the, and the things that they're looking for in relationships, that we all come together in, a, in, in this community and we, we learn from each other and yes, yes. We, gain, we gain experience and knowledge that that our relationships in the future will be better than the ones in the past. Yes, Father. So, so we ask this in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. 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 Okay. So let's get started. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm, I'm Timothy Shackleford. Uh, okay. Most people call me Tim. Okay. Sometimes like the lady, they call me <laughs> Timothy. So Tim. <laughs> but my friends don't call me Tim. Uh, Nickname Shaq, sometimes the last name is Shackleford. Oh, okay. So, I was looking at Shaq. Up, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I might grow up to you know, start working with Shaq. Yeah, you know me. Okay. Um, I've, um, I live in Inglewood. I've okay. been uh, with the Postal Service for uh, 34, and I say almost 35 years. And oh, wow. I will have 35 uh, years. Okay. And uh, I can say I've got maybe a couple of years by the time I want to uh, retire. Okay. But, um, that's pretty much it. I have four. Right? I'm, well, I'm divorced. I was divorced came by on May of uh, 2014. I have four beautiful daughters, though, out of that relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 30. Actually, my daughter's birthday, my oldest daughter, it will be turning 30 tomorrow on the 30th. Well, happy birthday. Yeah. Her name is Jasmine. That's happy so birthday, Jasmine. So she'll be uh, 30 tomorrow, and I have one that's 28. The next one is 28. Okay. And I have two daughters that are currently in college. One is in her third year at uh, Georgetown. Wow. Her name is Selah. And my last one the is... Uh, yes. And then the last one is Imani. She just started her first year. She was 19, started her first year at uh, University of Richmond in Virginia. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> you pretty you got a um, pretty cool bunch yeah, there. They're, they're the one keeping me working so far. I to try to get them through college, and then maybe I can. <laughs> you can yeah. go out and enjoy go yourself. Go out and enjoy myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, did you ever want a son, or you just was? Funny? I did want a son, of course. You know, any man wants a son, right? So, I thought, you know, the first two were daughters, right? So mm -hmm. then we had like a, I think it's like a seven year gap mm -hmm. between the, the girls. And so I was sure that the third one would be the boy, the charm I was looking for, but turned out to be another girl, okay. then another girl. So at that, I didn't want to, <laughs> I was like, satisfied with the girls. Yeah. Okay. So no, um, you wouldn't even consider adoption? For adoption? No, not at this point. point. No. Yeah, they all grown. Maybe if I was like younger and still yeah. raising them, then maybe okay. adoption would be an adoption. No. No, you're done with that. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, you are divorced. You've been divorced going on four years now. Yes. So um, let's talk about that. Let's talk about um, what you've learned, you know, what you want, what we should know as single women. And Oh, um, well, it was like we maybe grew apart. Actually, I filed for the divorce. Mm -hmm. um, just a series of incidents. I mean, I felt like I was kind of abandoned mm -hmm. in, in the relationship. It has something to do with our daughter. We we're in Las Vegas, I can maybe tell you. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're in Vegas and we were going through, well, I was going through some mental health challenge. My daughter mm -hmm. was going through some mental health challenge. Right? Okay. So we we're kind of fussing, arguing in the parking lot in Las Vegas. Okay. And then my wife, you know, told my, she, my daughter called her, said, uh, you know, 
what should I do? So she, my wife told her to call the police, you know. Okay. So police come. Ultimately, they took me to jail for <laughs> domestic, you know, violence or something mm -hmm. against my daughter, which I never did nothing to her. But they said when they come out to a situation, somebody's going to jail on you. So they have to it take just happened out. to be me. Yeah, I'm like, what? Yeah. You know, like, we just, yeah, a little yeah. argument, right? Okay. Wind up staying there like 20 days, right, in jail. Oh. And um, during this time, the wife has, you know, she had put a restraining order on me. I don't know why she's saying I'm being aggressive. I, okay. you know, she was scared for the children, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so during that time, you know, uh, I just felt bad alone. I couldn't get in contact. I couldn't have, you know, couldn't go home. Kind of right. almost was homeless. And I had to start stay with my sister and her, her, her husband. Right? right. So when I got home, you know, very angry, felt, you know, abandoned, felt alone. Okay. Couldn't get in touch with my ex wife and children at that point, right? Okay. So ultimately that led, you know, I guess I guess my heart was hardened over that situation. So um, ultimately that would last too hard, of course. So. Okay. So is there any chance of reconciliation? No. Nah. No? No, nah, I don't think so. Actually, right now, we're sharing the same condo. I mean, in our okay. divorce proceeding, I, I um, vetoed my the property rights to her mm -hmm. as part of the divorce settlement, mm -hmm. right? And then I moved out on my own for mm -hmm. like a couple of years. And then you know, she was struggling with paying the uh, mortgage, and, uh, looking, thinking about my kids still living there. Mm -hmm. So I decided, hey, instead of staying for her, I'll come and move back as a tenant. So. Okay. Right now, I mean, we live in the same household. Mm -hmm. She kind of has her own room, her own place. <laughs> it's a three bedroom where I'm playing. I have my own place, you know. And, but it's no like relations like right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just I'm just like a tenant there, actually. <laughs> Is it awkward? Um, it was for a, a little bit. I'm thinking maybe, maybe you know, a chance might. But no, I mean, we kind of going our separate way. She kind of likes her space and you know her independence, and I'm. Kind of like moving on to the next phase, you know. Okay. Like I said, I'm just really starting maybe to start dating. I did have actually have a little date that went on. Okay. <laughs> so, so how did that go? Tell us about that. It was just a uh, it was just a movie. She has uh, the young lady. She has a like a, I guess around a 13, 14 year old little daughter. Okay. We went and we had a movie date, so just went okay. on, enjoyed Let's the chill. movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it didn't, wasn't, you know, it wasn't all that much conversation, just this sort of daughter, but we enjoyed the movie. Okay. And yeah, so it was good to get out and enjoy the company, okay. yeah. Okay, so you are open to marrying again, correct? I am not a totally opposed to, to it. it. Yes, okay. I can say that. So what is it that you're looking for this time around? Well, I mean, I love active, uh, outgoing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like kind of the more quiet or laid back type of woman, not one of the <laughs> boys <laughs> and talking all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's some somebody who who loves to have fun, who doesn't take herself too serious, mm -hmm. right? You know, can joke and, and laugh at herself. Right. You know, um. Someone is just fun it's lo that loves life, you know, and maybe things that we have a uh, maybe can have in common, you know. Okay. So. Now, what about um, her relationship with Christ? How important oh, is that? That's a definite. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't even entertain if they didn't have any kind of relationship with Christ. Okay. Yeah. So, what are you finding? What? So, you you dated this lady with the the thirteen year old. So, well, you know, I go to. <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> you know, I mean, I knew her from when I knew her from when I was staying with with my brother in law and sister. She was a, a, a tenant in, in the apartment complex where they were at. Mm -hmm. So I had met her during that time, but during that time, I was still uh, going through my divorce. I guess at the time. Okay. So now, you know, I ran into her again. You got her number. And she had moved from that place where she was, new place. But uh, so I still, I ran into her and, and got her. Phone number again, so start communicating with that again. Okay, so what are you finding out there? I mean, uh, well, you know what? Uh, it's a lot of interesting ladies that go to West Angeles. Okay, they have a, I, I mean, we have over twenty five thousand, you know, right. membership, right? So, I, I mean, I, I'm what they call an ambassador. So when I roll, like greet people yeah. at the door and say, okay. "Welcome to West Angeles." That's one of my jobs. I do that okay. on Sunday. 
Sunday morning. So I see, you know, a lot of ladies that okay. I could be maybe interested <laughs> in, right? Right. But so far, I haven't, you know, kind of actively gone to seeking seeking dates right now. So. Okay. Would you, would you okay. say you've healed from your divorce, from your oh, first yeah. marriage? I think I have. Okay. Yeah, I think I have. Okay. So you're actually ready. You think you're mentally yeah, think I'm ready. ready to move? Yeah. Forward. Okay. Sometime now, I just don't know, you know. <laughs> right. I don't know what you say the the rap or the game, you know, trying to get my in the mood. I mean, because I'm like older. Oh, before it was like no problems. Like I'm trying to start no. It's like I'm feeling kind of awkward right now. So, so what do you say? Give me an example of so how are you greeting the ladies? So maybe some of the ladies could give you some tips today. Yeah, maybe you can help me. I can help them. Uh, you know, I you know I just you know, ask them say, oh, you got a pretty smile. Or, okay. Like say why? Well, like you say I. Seen a lady, young lady, and uh, uh, I said, "Yeah, you have a pretty smile." And, and I thought of that um, that song. I think it's my Shanice. I love you. Oh smile. yeah, I love you. So Shanice so Wilson. Hello, your smile. Yeah. So you know, I was talking to her right there, and kind of, she's uh, she she's like an usher or something at West Sanders, and so okay. I kind of got a little eye out for her right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see her, you know, but I haven't really asked her out or anything. Okay. okay. So what's holding you back from asking her out? I mean, I guess I'm taking my time. time. Maybe building my narrative confidence <laughs> over it. I don't know. You know, it's it's getting like it. it's just I don't know. It's just kind of weird right now. It's funny. I'm glad you brought this up because yeah. a lot of the ladies that the the, the uh, we've been going back and forth as far as dating etiquette, who should ask who out first, mm -hmm. and you know, and that's why I love this group because we stickly we stick strictly with scripture, and some okay. stuff is not biblical. Like yeah. you have a lot of women who let's say ask you out, then the deal is supposed to be that she pays for the date. Oh, okay. um, whereas yeah, I don't, I don't know that. that. Yeah, yeah, I don't need like, I don't Normally I would have thought, I'd say, you know, I probably, probably would end up paying. Yeah. I just, yeah, that's probably just where I am. Yeah, I'm that. See ladies, yeah. see Tim, good guy. <laughs> right. You know, I just, yeah. and that's how I, I mean, I get that you can't, because some of the fellows are like, well, when do you pay? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you know, so it's like if you're dating yeah. her for year after year, right, after year, right, right. So when does she pay? So do you have a? I would think it'd be like okay if I pay a couple of times, maybe the next time. I mean, okay. it wouldn't be like no real demanding thing, you know. So would you be okay if she never paid? Um, would it bother you? It might bother me if she like <laughs> never, or never consider, <laughs> or always say that I have to be the one paying. Then now I might have a problem with that. But okay, you know. More than likely, you pay. I would still pay, but yeah, I might have, you know, problem, a problem with that. that. Okay, yeah. so you kind of um, want that, it, you know, kind of equability to go with it sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So, what is it that you want women to know about men? What is it that you wish that we would just get that would help us understand men better? Um, I don't know. I think men are kind of simple. You know, we don't require a whole lot of things. We, we really don't want. I guess nobody like nagging us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so give me yeah, an example. Give us an example of a nag, hypothetical situation well, that you would consider you know, a nag. We always kind of get our, or well, at least me. I can't speak to all men. I'm just myself, right? Okay. But uh, we always kind of get our defenses up, right? Mm -hmm. Men. When yeah, okay. when a lady would come in and say. Oh, we need to talk. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh oh, you know what's going on? Like, I don't think I did anything, but where's this big talk? It's like it's a build up or something okay. like negative, usually, right? <laughs> so, okay. you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you can talk, we can, we can talk with her. Okay, we we need to have this talk, and then see, like every other day, it's this talk. We need to talk. <laughs> okay. I'm like, all right, you know, it's, okay. it's like building up from some drama. So I don't, you know, okay. I'm trying to get away from drama. Like, okay. I'm, on, I'm trying to live peaceably. You know, okay. like, like, like God said, live peaceably with all oh, men. You want to okay. try to do that, you know. So right. at this point, I don't, I don't want to have any drama with the lady. I told my wife, I don't want to, I don't want to live at peace. I'm, okay. You know, I'm heading down here toward my retirement date. So, right. you know, if I can find someone that's kind of, Mellow, what do you mm -hmm. call it? Low Chill, maintenance. Low maintenance. Yeah, low maintenance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. I want to know how I drive. I'm going through stuff every day, you know, the right. ups and downs stuff, you know. Right. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of where yeah. I'm at now. So, how long do you plan on living with your ex wife? Like, will that pose a problem with your future girlfriend? It might, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, we might think <laughs> I'm still got something going on. But um, 
I don't see that on because we just had an incident really mm -hmm. the other day because now it's like so about her property, right? <laughs> so so it's like she's saying, okay, I get to call a shot, right? Mm -hmm. So I was I was fixing like some little bathroom sink and it happened to bust the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. They said, I told you, she got on me now. I told you not to, you know. I'm really generally trying to upkeep, kind of yeah, keep, keep it, condo. You know, yeah, keep the condo upkeep and stuff. And so, but you told me not to mess up. I was like, got up one morning, I said, because of stuff wasn't getting done. You know, I like mm -hmm. stuff to get done. I see something wrong, I want to fix see it. it, fix it, right? Yeah. So I was attempting to fix it. The water thing bust, you know, we had a little problem with our neighbors underneath. But she's like, you know, you're not a band, my, you know, my wishes. And you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, you know, so. Uh, we decided, yeah. She said, "Oh, this 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 range is not going to work." So she like, okay, not any meeting, but maybe five six months. I am going to be moving okay. on my own. Okay. Yeah, you know. So you're okay with that? Yeah. 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 You know. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh no, that's okay. The phone call coming. Okay. Okay. So um, so I know you're getting out there dating so yeah. and you said it's a little bit intimidating so what are you finding that's different this time around as opposed to when you were dating back before when you got married um i guess i'm a little wise i would hope <laughs> <laughs> and um do you regret getting married getting married do you think oh, she no, was no 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 she was she was the right person i thought you know we'd be we'd be forever you know I anticipate us getting no divorce, right? Okay. So I, you know, anticipate I'd be uh, be married, but you know, things happen, right? Okay. Sometimes beyond our control, sometimes it's in control. Okay. We choose to do what we do. So, uh, but um, getting back, what do you? What was the question you got? <laughs> if the difference, like when you got married the first time, oh, what okay, are you finding now. that's different now? As far as like dating, mm -hmm. or, or just the, with the women that you're coming across. Oh, um, okay. I don't know. A lot of them seem like they're they're busy, or they okay. I don't know. Probably approachable, you know. So what, the so women are not approachable. Not don't seem like they're approachable. <laughs> maybe it's just me just thinking that, you know. Maybe no, no, we've heard at that. Me funny side no. way. Maybe she don't like me because I'm. No, nope, we've maybe heard like, this. We've heard this. Okay, that, so um, maybe that's we're maybe not some as truth to that. Yeah, I've heard that. Okay. I've heard that we're not as approachable. Okay. And so what I'm hearing is that men would like for us to show some sign that yeah. we may be interested. Because in somebody, might, I mean, I might meet you. So, oh hi, how you doing? And then they might put up defense like I'm trying to hit on when I'm really just, just saying <laughs> hi and speaking. Right? Yeah. Right. So. Sometimes I come across that, you know, kind okay. of, you know, I'm not really into it. So I need that okay. kind of, yeah, okay. Okay. So you've just dated the one person since your divorce? Yeah, actually, um, okay. I have been, like I said, I've been looking, but I haven't really attempted to go out on dates or ask, you know, my phone and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just okay. kind of just been chilling because I've been, you know, back in the house with my daughters, was helping her through her last uh, year of school and my other ones in D.C., you know, yeah. so trying to help them, you know, get through, trying to, like I say, really focus on my retirement. So I'm just building yeah. my, my retirement assets, trying to see if I'm in, in the right place. And so when I get ready to retire, I'm, I'm there, you know. When are you going to retire? How many years? I would say in two years. I would say oh. my daughter would be out of, my third daughter would be out of college and all and have like three years in. So she'll be pretty much set. Six. So yeah, okay. I can start. Okay looking to retire so what's going to be different this time if you get married what would be different in this relationship where you would be married until death do you part what would be different yeah um, with you because i know you can't well start. yeah i mean i always try to be open as i'm i'm kind of really shy person you know in my nature i don't really expose i guess you got to get to know me to, mm -hmm. you know draw you know how women always like, you know, <laughs> yeah. talk share share, your feelings, share, share. Like, okay hold on yeah. you gotta get you know right. time to do that right? right so um i don't know i i mean i want to be open honest with the, the relationship you know what i like and don't like and sometimes when you get in a marriage you kind of you say go along mm. get along sometimes oh i say just yeah along, so but... sometimes you tell you you, you might Share a different opinion about something, but you like, uh, well, you know, I'll just let it go. Ain't no right. big deal. 
but then you start, you know, start <laughs> building internally, right? That stuff right. that you've been holding in, yeah. and then like, uh, like where did this come from? Why you didn't tell me this? Before? Right, <laughs> but you right. kind of just been holding back, you know, for the sake of you didn't want no drama, right? You want no drama. So, are you saying that's going to change the second time around? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would be more open, and I would. I guess when you go through that, you say, you know, things you you, you won't tolerate no more. Right? <laughs> okay, so what won't you tolerate? Yeah, anymore? yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> When you're upset about it, you're going to, hey, you go, they're going to get it out right there. You know, right. you're not going to hold nothing in. You know, okay. cause you, you've been through that. You know, you know that don't work. <laughs> so you're going to be more honest. I guess you say, no, honest or true to your feeling. You know, okay. if you don't like something, you're going to tell them. Man, right. I, I don't like this. You know, That's I don't fair. feel comfortable with that. I do like that. But, um, so I would try to share my feeling, you know, hopefully share their feeling. And, I guess, you know, the little things that irritate you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least you, you should have open arms to policy, you know. Yeah. So really, let you get them out there. So if, if uh, you know, that comes up, they'll know. Okay. But like you say, if a person, has, if the girl has a relationship with God, I think that's a, um, that's a key. Because one of the reasons that with my ex-wife mm -hmm. is that she was really um, religious science. It's called Agape. She's going to Agape Church. Uh, okay. Church of Religious Science. Oh, so is it something like the Scientology? It's not quite like Scientology. Do they believe in Jesus Christ? Well, she did. She did. But they don't teach from the Bible. The, the, the guy oh. kind of uh, he kind of, we don't have no Bible. Nobody comes to the church with with the Bible. Oh. So I'm like, you know, where are you getting? Even though she, she, I mean, my, she read the Bible more than me, so she was wearing more verse, but that church that she brought up in, in general didn't use the Bible. So did she have you a know, so she was comp Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, when when we got married, she was, her discipline was with uh, religious science, grew up in that. But she came over to West Sanders because I was oh, going to West right. Sanders. So for 20 years, she was going to West Sanders. And then she decided to go back. Oh. And maybe that might have been the beginning of the end. You know I mean? You know how Ephesians said, be, yeah. you know, wife submit your, your, to the husband right. and the husband, you know, he, he right. had a wife. Five, yeah. yeah. Well, she kind of had her own you know, take <laughs> on that. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, like, you know, okay. <laughs> She's like, tell me, like, if, if, if you kind of be like, God, or, you know, if you're like God, you know, I wouldn't have no problem with her, of course. Huh? But I'm not going to be like her. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, of course. See, it's, I'll say this. You know, we was having a schedule the other day. I said, yeah, it'd be easy to follow me, of course. We're like, Jesus, yeah, yeah, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Right. right. It'd be easy to follow me, yeah, of course. You know, but I'm human, you know, I'm making mistakes. So, right. You know, so, uh, but I think really we would have a lot of uh, religious discussion and, and opposition. Okay. So that was, I think maybe that might have been one of our biggest challenges, is trying did, to reconcile but, both those versions. So before you got married the first time, did you go through premarital counseling? Did you guys talk? We did. It was just it was just one counseling session, maybe oh, two, okay. three hours. It wasn't like a... A big, long time. Yeah. Long. Okay. So would that be something you would change? Oh, this? definitely. I think that's definitely needed. Okay. Just to make sure that you're fatal, you got kind of the same ideas, right. kind of, the, you know, maybe some of the same goals or some same interest, you know, right. it's always good to know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, I mean, definitely. Something. So are you under the belief that, um, cause I know you said you may get married, you may not. So you're not under the belief that you would feel bad if you don't find another wife. You wouldn't like go to your grave disappointed. No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that disappoints somebody looking for her. Oh, but no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't be disappointed. I mean, I never say never, never rule out the possibility that I'll find someone, you know, because I believe, like I said, I believe there's always somebody out there, you know, right. perfect mass that you know, but I mean, it's not going to be in a perfect marriage, right? right? You can always have, you know, challenges, but I believe if somebody that's compatible that, you know, you find, you know, that you can get along with. Right. <laughs> yeah. So would you date a woman of a different religion or she has to be a Christian? Like, could she be a Muslim or? Yeah, she probably have to be a Christian. I wouldn't want to try to collide those two because <laughs> I'll be telling her that she might believe, like I say, might believe something else. So, yeah, that, 
Because I know you mentioned up the first wife, so I just want to yeah. throw that in yeah. and see. Because some people, um, as you know, they have different religions, mm -hmm. and they just, you know. Yeah, some of them can they make it work. They, yeah. So that's but, not under know. your. I, yeah, I would think the challenge, based on my experience, would probably be kind of challenging for me. Okay. Now, what about women with children? Does that bother you? I know you have four girls. But if she no, had... that, I mean, if she had like a couple of children, I mean, I don't think if, it, it would have to depend on her. Because I could accept, you know, like children I raised, yeah, I raised four. four. So I, Doesn't yeah, matter I the say. age? Like if she has a two year old? No. Okay. You're talking about younger children? Yeah, if she has. It would probably kids. be. Yeah, it would probably be more. Challenging probably with, with older ones, you know, because they think, oh, uh, that's my mom. I mean, you, know, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's not my dad, right? right. So, they might, so I don't know. It would have to, you know. Okay, but you're not opposed, maybe. No, that's no. Okay. No, I know some of them are not. They can have no kids, you know. No. I mean, okay. I deal with children and kids, yes. so yeah. You know, most okay. kids I get along with, I guess. <laughs> so, you know. you I've had got two grandkids now, so I have two grandchildren. Oh, okay. So your um, oldest daughter? I thought you heard no, my, my second. The one is 28. Okay. She has uh, a boy and a girl. Girl. girl okay. It's like five and a uh, little Benji is like, what, a year and a half. Okay. So you already, okay. So I you know, you, you're you dealing with the little grands. Yeah. Okay. So I can just play with them, just get them. And send them, them right back, back to their yeah, mom. Send them back. Yeah. Send them right back to their mom. Yeah. Okay. So, um... So in your dating experience, so the bottom line, Tim, you're saying, okay, you're not opposed to it. You're, mm -hmm. Women are not as approachable. Is there anything else that you're finding that we need to know to make it a little bit easier on the brothers? Mm. Well, I mean, like you say, it's all right for me. I don't know who want to approach me if they're interested. I wouldn't be opposed to that. That's a, Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. So you don't think it's out of order for the woman to ask you out? No. Because sometimes I wouldn't know, you know, like you say, I might be scared to approach him and if they approach scared. me. Scared. <laughs> not really scared, but you know. Sometimes. So you would pass up a beautiful woman out of fear. If you saw this woman, she was amazing, she was beautiful, you felt her energy. No, actually, you know what? Come to think about it, I'm just thinking about this past something yesterday. Okay. Beautiful, black, dark skin. <laughs> girl mm -hmm. was walking in the church and I've seen her several times before. Okay. You know, I'll just agree to say, welcome with Sandalus. Right. You know, the standard that I do. But I just had to stop. I just had to tell her, <laughs> you're one of the beautiful girl I've seen. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, thank you. And uh, she gave me her name, I gave her mine, and then that was it. But, okay. So, no, I'm not a, I mean, I'm always looking, and I, I, I'll acknowledge if somebody's really pretty or somebody yeah. I'm attracted to somebody. I will acknowledge that. So, I mean, no, I wouldn't uh, pass it by. Pass it by. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not intimidated like that. So, y'all, <laughs> she's too beautiful that I you know, okay. never be able to you know, approach speak her. to. Yeah, approach her. No. So, what are some deal breakers? Like, with a girl that you just would not even consider dating? Well, like you say, don't like loud women. <laughs> don't like. <laughs> My women, yeah. women, kind of talk, talking to you. I want to be the life of you. No, I like kind of quiet, reserved, you know. Okay. I mean, they have the their strength and dignity, but it's 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 more, you know, mm -hmm. subtle. So, you know, was your first wife? Was she quiet? She's kind of. She does talk a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but she was quiet when I first met her. So <laughs> I didn't know she had that much <laughs> in her to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're married now. <laughs> like too late. Right, right, too late, right. <laughs> okay. No, she's, so, she's a brilliant child. I like challenging ladies too, you know, have a good con have a good conversation or have you know interests of their own. Some maybe that I have experience and maybe I could get involved, you know, some okay. some things. Does she have to be educated, well versed? Yeah, I mean she has to be educated. She had to be you know proper and all the proper okay. English and all that stuff. No. I okay. mean, I like. She can come from. Girls. She can come from a broken home. Yeah. She could be divorced. She could be right. Okay. She can come from a poor home. Just as long as you know she kind of got herself together. <laughs> because I grew up poor, you know, so I don't think to be rich or nothing. Like, you know, you know. But she, she only wants to kind of know what she, what she wants, you know, in life. Okay. Um, and you know, like I say, basically, not a lot of. Drama. drama. Of course, you had challenge. See, that's yeah. always thing. See, I, you know. What do you consider drama? 
Well, like I say, now every other day, <laughs> something is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, problem come in once every two <laughs> weeks, two or three weeks, but something coming up every, every day, day, but you got to, uh, you know. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Right, too much, okay. you know. Okay, so yeah. um, you don't like the drama. So would you be opposed to a woman that doesn't want to work and wants you to take care of the house and then, she, you know, you take oh, care of Oh, she's taking the house? Or? Yeah, she's like a housewife. Oh, I wouldn't be. And then you. Be all right. I mean, I know my brother-in-law and his, his wife, they've been married. She hasn't really worked in time. Now, he just retired, so he had more time spending at home. Okay. I had my work out there too much time for <laughs> But yeah, she never worked, and uh, yeah, I really see, you know, okay. no problem with that. Yeah, just as long as like, say she's keeping her busy at, at home, not, right. not, not laying just sitting around, around sitting around, <laughs> and come home with nothing made. And nothing. <laughs> okay, you want something going there? Get it. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> like just a housewife. right? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, it's interesting. Now, what about um, a, a woman whose kids live with them, and then? You get married like without grown being a kid. Yeah, kids. <laughs> we might have a problem with that. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can say, okay, if they're grown kids, maybe if they're going to school mm -hmm. or something and they're trying to get ready, trying to save up money for this right. and that, that might be tall. But if somebody just like, you know, kind of just laying around the house <laughs> and they haven't decided, at 30 <laughs> haven't decided what they want to do. Mm -hmm. It might be challenging with that, you know, because I would be like, yeah, you can't just stand around here. Yeah, I was laying on the couch playing videos, you know. <laughs> right. You grown, man. You got to get out, right? Right, right. So, you know, but if they're, you know, trying to, because I know it's 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 hard out there now, you know, trying to find places to live on your own, because mm -hmm. with real estate here in California oh, and yeah. all that stuff. So, you know, I know that's a challenge, but if they're, you know, actually trying to build up enough money to save up for a house or save mm -hmm. up for an apartment or something, yeah, I don't see no problem with that. Okay. Where are you from originally? I'm from here. Oh, born born and raised. raised? Wow. California, Los yeah, Angeles. Los Angeles, California. so this yep. is home. Okay. Born and raised, so wow. I don't see myself okay. going any other, other place. Like, <laughs> so this well, is I do home. look around, there's a lot of the cheap, you know, stuff that's much cheaper, and I'm like, yeah, hmm. You know, I thought it was because I was going, for a while I was going back and forth uh, to Las Vegas. Oh, okay. And the real estate is much cheaper out there. I think, okay, well, maybe we might retire. But I know a lot of people who actually I work with, mm -hmm. and they moved to Las Vegas. Las Vegas to retire. Yeah. So I was like, well, maybe that's impossible. But I'm so used to it. LA. <laughs> so yes. I, I don't know. Oh, I have a buddy who's been out there, and he's been doing well in, in uh, Las Vegas for a while. So okay. it's not out of probability because I see if you go to it, well, I can't afford, you know, mm -hmm. place something I might have to choose something to be more affordable. So. Okay, so you were you guys lived in that condo for a long time? Yeah, since like ninety four. Oh wow! Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So is it difficult for you to go from owning a home to now renting? Well, it was yeah because you live on somebody else's rules, you know, like <laughs> you can't do this and that, mm -hmm. and uh, so it, it it is a change. But like I say, when I moved out, uh, I really got had it like a. Uh, House and like a, a, had another roommate. Okay. It was cool. I mean, we just shared stuff and it's common, all this, you know, mm -hmm. common bathroom, all that right. stuff. So it was cool. So I kind of learned. So when I moved back into <laughs> my wife's house, it was kind of okay. It's just separate. I just had my room with like my own. <laughs> okay. I had to worry about nothing. So, okay. so that's kind of where right. I am. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so th this brings us up to, to now. So you're not opposed to, if she has children, uh, one of the, some of the things that you're finding is that women are not as approachable. Is there anything else that we need to know about men that you don't think that we get? We know you don't like um, to be nagged. Well, you know what? I have this this um, notion or opinion that I think women like that. What we call the bad guys. Oh, yeah. The gangster oh, yeah. guy. Yeah. I don't have no tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> so you might disappoint me. <laughs> I take up my shirt. Yeah. I have no tattoos at all on my body. Yeah. You know, or they want somebody. They don't like, like the nice guy. I consider myself a nice guy. Right. And sometimes I think they, you know, kind of bypass somebody's chat. Wow. Yeah. So you think that, um, it's okay. So they bypass the nice guy for the. Thug. Yeah, 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 kind of like that. Even the one, even the um, Kojic women or the church women. Well, I'm not sure. Um, I think 
a lot of them, I guess they want, I don't know, maybe they want a deacon or somebody, <laughs> that, you know, a minister or something. <laughs> looking for her. Oh, Lord. That's I don't it. know. Yeah, a lot of them kind of, the church, church, church girl, they, they kind of, I would say kind of maybe in church too much. <laughs> like, I mean, I like okay. church, I, I love God and all, but I mean, I do have interests outside of church. So I'm, I'm not wrapped up. Okay. You know. What other interests are you into outside of church? Um, I like basketball. Okay. We're looking at now. I used to like playing it, but to get older, you know, <laughs> I'm bone wing and hips and I'm out there, you know, breaking the ankle and all that stuff. So okay. I'm not going, but I like bowling. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I like watch basketball, football, okay. on TV and stuff now. Um, so was that important? Like movies, concerts, and stuff things like that. that. So is that important for the person you date to like sports? Yeah, who the hell? <laughs> I would love to date like some interest in it. I mean, they could sit and just like if I'm watching the game and not you know distracted, I want to do something else because oh, I'm not interested in that. I hate this and that. Right, <laughs> you know? right. Okay, well, I like it so. Yeah, so they'd be opposed to you know be sitting there watching or they can sit there watch and be interested. That would you know that would be helpful. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you think that we should know about men? Because um, it's a big misconception with men and women. I say, you know, men are from mm -hmm. Mars, women are from Venus. Right, right. So, so men is like, I wish you really would just get this about us. It'll make the relationship a lot better. Yeah. You know, you said you're simple. Why are you, so you so in saying that you say women are complicated? It's... Yeah, because I guess, <laughs> guess women think through like minor did we, we kind of have like an overview of you know a lot of stuff but some of the minor details and stuff it might like just pass us by where you know how you say in a relationship like this is my ex-wife she can remember stuff that happened like don't you remember what to that no not really you know <laughs> and it's right. like you know we kind of I don't know I guess maybe our memory is not as good. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, you guys say teams uh, tend to remember a whole bunch of stuff that we, we forget, you know. Okay. Right. You know, but it's 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 just kind of crazy. I guess it's our brain. We just think big different. We kind of, like me, I have like a math brain. I kind of love oh, math, okay. like analytic. Numbers. Okay. Yeah, numbers and different stuff. I love that kind of stuff. So how come you want to didn't become a mathematician? You know, I had... Thought about that. Reason. I did go into like uh, computer programming. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of. I thought I loved accounting, but I went out so my grades weren't doing too good in accounting. So well, maybe I don't like it as much <laughs> as I thought of it, right? But uh, uh, I still love love math. You know, I used to try to help my daughters when they did. You just kind of okay. keep up on it. And I actually thought about maybe going. You know, in my next career, something to be like a, a math teacher and stuff. But, okay. You know, I thought maybe maybe. Too much more schooling. <laughs> okay, than you wanted to. You want to put in. Yeah. So why do you say that women like the bad boys? So what I'll say proof do you have? Where you can give us an example where you feel like the women are passing up the nice guys for the bad boys? Well, I have a lot of guys <laughs> from us since I'm. I see I'm discovering a lot of other guys. Man, this guy, nice guy. Why you don't have them? <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm running to a lot of <laughs> single guys that nice guys that don't. That, <laughs> now they don't have her. So I mean that's that's kinda weird how it's been, you know. But you have it to say that you haven't been actively looking though. Right, I haven't been actively looking. Okay. So uh maybe I have, you know, more experience within the next year. Um, okay. I think I do wanna start opening myself up a little bit more to uh, to dating. To dating. So maybe there's a you know, nice young lady right. out there. Yeah. So what is the dating etiquette? So that's another thing that gentlemen I had on the show last week, we were talking about dating etiquette. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about dating etiquette. So what do you think is proper dating etiquette? Uh, like should you come like, to the, should you come to the house and pick her up? Oh yeah. Open I up the car door. door. I don't know if the <clears> have no I'm not opposed to any of that. Okay. And yeah, I still like being a gentlemen for the most part okay you know but uh i mean like you say maybe they demand it especially maybe I, <laughs> you know maybe maybe one but for the most part I would, I would open the door you know i would try to do that get over here and open up this door 
<laughs> well, so, right? what, so what that make you so okay let's say you, you picking her up and she's sitting there and you get out and you don't open up the door it's like tim right, right. come on open up right. this door like is that out of line no i mean and maybe if she <laughs> polite I mean, it's probably just the way she might say it, you know? okay yeah can you be a gentleman and come oh sure i can do it you okay know, right but like you said, the, the man, uh, okay, nah, I don't, okay. Uh, I don't want to get a habit, and I'll be begrudgingly trying to do it, you know, I don't want to get into that, but. Okay. Yeah. So when do you, is, so do you believe in casual, do you believe in dating multiple women at, at the church at the same time? You think yeah, it's okay? probably initially, that's probably what I do. I wouldn't, like, just settle one. I would probably date and put my feelers out there first okay. to see exactly, you know, what, there's one. I don't think it was, first one will say, okay, that's going to be the right one. No, but would you date, would, would you, let's say it's five women at West um, LA, would you date all five of them at the same time at the church? That's what I'm saying. So if you run into just, you know, you're just casually dating. Do you if think I'm it's casually okay? date, Yeah, but I would, I mean, I would tell the person that was that, yeah, I do date other people. Ladies, I wouldn't okay. like it, might be no secret. You know? So, what if she says, I wouldn't be trying problem. to like play on playing all of them? What if she tells I would you because I would say that it's casual dating and I'm not serious about one yet, right? Now, what is that like maybe serious about one than the other ones? I wouldn't, Cut them all off. yeah. So, if you're casually dating and let's say one of the ladies that's a problem with her, would you cut all the other women off or you just will cut her off? Probably just cut her off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you think it's cool to, to casually date? So yeah, that's a that's a big thing too. Yeah, especially just getting out there because you know I kind of want to see what's out there. <laughs> right, right. I so, yeah. your, your choice. Yeah. So when is it? Um, what? So when is the first? Do you think it's proper to kiss her? Well, on the first date? No, just during the casual dating. Before you guys have made a uh, decision that you're going to be um, exclusive. Yeah. Okay. Would you yeah. be opposed if the woman didn't want you to kiss her until you were um, exclusive? Would that be a problem for you? Oh. Hmm. Um, I don't know. It depends on how interested I am in, in her. the woman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I didn't think it was worth it, then I, you know. <laughs> Okay, so um, so because that's another big thing with the the, and then what do you consider casual dating? Well, in going your to opinion, movie, on. yeah, going to a movie, okay, you know, uh, going to show, going to dinner, okay, stuff like that. Yeah. So when does it become more than just casual? Well, if I maybe say three or four dates, maybe <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, right, okay. Then I'm probably interested in it, right? Okay. If I just dated three or four times, then it's like okay. Okay. Maybe I'm considering it more than just casual. Okay. So then you move to from the casual to because some people kiss on the first day, some people kiss, you know, that's another mm -hmm. big issue. Some say when the mm -hmm. chemistry is right. Right, right. So that's why we're trying to set some rules for set some, rules. some for <laughs> dating etiquette. Oh, okay. Um so you still you so you still believe I'm I'm not uh pros like kissing if it happens like on the first date, you know, it happened. So that wouldn't be awkward to you? If you no. No. Okay. Yeah, I forgot yeah. he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the kiss. And that's. So what if. So you said if you liked her and she never wanted to kiss um, until you guys had. I wouldn't want to know why, you know. Well, listen, let me give you an example. This has come up in the group. Okay. As Christians, what is happening is there's a lot of people that are having sex before marriage. Okay. So we know what scripture says. Mm -hmm. And if that's go if kissing is going to ignite something in either one of you that could have you slip up. Okay. That's why they don't. They don't kiss at kiss. all. Yeah. You know how many? How <laughs> <laughs> many? You know, like that. You think it's just is that for real? They just, just these are some that don't. It's it's rare. Now I'm gonna say this. This okay. is rare or rarity, and that's why we're talking okay. about this and exploring it yeah. because the men don't like that. Because if you if if and I mean by kissing, I mean you could kiss on the cheek or right. your pet, uh -huh. but I just say mm -hmm. more intimate kissing. Right, right, right. Okay. So that could be. So that would lead, you think that would lead it could to possibly else? lead to something else. So in that case, how do you handle that? 
Because clearly, when you fall in love with someone, those feelings are there. Oh yeah, yeah. So how sure. do you? So what do you put in place, Tim, to prevent you from stepping over the line? Hmm. Yes, you have to know when to draw a line. Yeah. If you, <laughs> to, if you your emotion, your yeah. Yeah, adrenaline started on it. Yeah. Then you say, okay, I think you got to stop. Maybe going too far. But are men really gonna do that? That's a good. <laughs> See, that's that is a good question. Yeah. yeah, more 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 often than not, it's the women who draw the line. Exactly. Then, so if she's that. so if she's telling you that that's going to be, I mean, you know what? I don't say it's going to be. You know, it's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep it real. Right, right. You know that once you start dating, and once it gets to that serious, um, mm -hmm. you know, point, right, right, that eventually you guys are cuddling and mm -hmm. you're holding, you know, so it's right. eventually going to leak. So you have to have the boundaries. Boundaries, right, right. Um, whatever those boundaries are. And that's okay. something that a lot of people are not exploring. They don't. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I thought that I was mean, but you could be uh, intimate, you be can cuddle, you, know, right. you can be snuck up and watch a good movie. Without it leading to sex, you know, right? First. It shouldn't. So, um, I guess that maybe some of the week you can hash out initially and say, okay, you know, I'm just interested in, in, in dating. I'm not interested in, in romance or whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, if some leads it, then we'll we'll discuss it. If, if it's some leading up to something else, I think it's good to get that out. Kind of early okay. in the dating thing, you know. Right. I'll ask you what you expect out of this date, or what you expect from me, you know. That's you might say that's casual, true. you know, something. Yeah, I'm not looking for nothing serious, right? Right. So I'll know, you know, how far to go. So what should we discuss on the first date? Like, how much do you want to know about her? How much do I want to know about her first? Like, are yes. you married? <laughs> Yeah, some, people, yeah, some people are still married. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Are you, yeah, you, are you pregnant? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you kind of, what you kind of do, you, you kind of put your feelers out so you can kind of determine where you might fit in. Okay. Now, see, if this is you know, hypothetical, right? If she has nine kids, she has eight <laughs> <laughs> different baby dads. <laughs> You know, you might say, I, I don't know if I can fit in that, that situation, right? <laughs> that might be something that, uh, you know, I, I don't know, right? <laughs> I don't mean I fit in this picture, right? <laughs> it might be too crowded, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, so, that's fair. Yeah, that's something you want to know, right? <laughs> so do you ask, you like, so do you have children? Yeah, yeah, of course. You want to ask them your children, you know, okay. what they, what the relationship, you know. All right. So that, so if I said I ate nine kids, eight different baby, well, how would you know them yeah. by different dad? Would you well, ask? Actually, <laughs> do they have the same yeah, dad? Yeah, yeah. Well, some do. I get, I get, yeah. I, mean, I don't know what women would say if they have eight. So do you immediately just end the date? Because you know you're not going anywhere. No, I wouldn't end the date. I'd probably, you know, but in the back of your mind. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we go that far. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so abrupt. So, okay. See you. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm, okay. mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. I see. All right. I'll call you. So. <laughs> now, why do you guys say that? I'll call you, knowing you're not. I never know. <laughs> Well, no, you're not you gonna know, we call. Try, yeah, we, we try to put you know down nice. I guess you know we don't just straight out say you have no chance. But yeah, okay, so then nice if she call you back, do you tell her why, or do you tell her that this isn't going any further? Yeah, we probably you know talk on the phone from then on. <laughs> I just say you know it yeah, don't look like me. I'm still <laughs> seeing other people. Probably give her a hand. Yeah, I'm seeing other people. So you know. So Tim, how do we know if a man is interested in us? For the shy, for, since you're shy, you're perfect. Mm -hmm. So, if you were interested in a young lady, how would she know it? If I was interested? Yeah. Oh, well, I'd be trying to hit on her. Right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, you would, so you would flat out just ask her out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because mm -hmm. some guys, I guess mm -hmm. it's like a toss-up as to yeah. 
Um, how do you know? How you know, know? a lot of times men hate rejection, though, you know. Even with just, like, asking for their phone numbers, though, sometimes okay. kind of hard. <laughs> you're afraid you're going to say no, right? So, you're right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, but so you do. So, so even the shy guys, you yeah. do. So we got to know, um, well, it's way, how can we keep in touch? <laughs> yeah, right, okay. yeah, 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 something like that, you know, so. Yeah. Okay. You know, we kind of don't like rejection. rejection. So, well, yeah. women don't like rejection, too, but we've always felt like men, you were built for it. Rejection. So built is that for? built for rejection? No. no. We really have tender eagles. eagles. Yeah. Okay. We just put out the tough exterior so, like we. <laughs> okay. So do men cry? Yeah, by yeah. itself. <laughs> Nobody's watching. <laughs> Not even, to, yeah. not even to their male friends. Nah, we didn't cry to the male. They, they're like, man, you don't want to swap inside of here. You don't cry. Oh, that's interesting. So you don't nah, cry. We don't cry oh my gosh. Yeah. So you don't. So in front of you. So you don't feel comfortable crying in front of your wife or in front of your girl. Uh, well, it depends. You know, it depends on thing. Okay. You know, somebody die or something. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm short of that, that, you know. <laughs> short of that, yeah. man. I don't know. We are. Okay. So, is there a, a level? Is are, are so can men be sensitive? I mean, like sensitive, like cry a lot. No. Nah. Okay. So if you got a man that cry a lot. Yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> you say run from him. Right. 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 Yeah. I'm cry like that. You know. <laughs> And is it kind of had a good movie? He's there crying, right? No, nah. okay, that'd be some real serious. <gasps> okay. Yeah. okay, so if a man um really likes a if you really like mm -hmm. a young lady, mm -hmm. so you just gonna step to her, you're just gonna somehow yeah. muster up the nerve. sometimes, yeah, yeah, to muster up a nerve, okay, to, to, to step to somebody that you. I mean, you might be iron for a long time before you actually get up enough nerve to. How long is a long time? I mean, it might be like a, a couple of weeks, maybe in a month. Okay. Yeah, After before that. you actually say, yeah, I think, you know, kind of iron. See, maybe see if, if somebody else goes <laughs> to it. If she maybe rejected somebody else, and maybe you don't. Know, but yeah. then, what if somebody asks her out? Then you missed your I opportunity. I know that's the only chance. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, you will yeah. take that chance. Yeah. yeah okay. Would. So would you? Are you waiting for her to show you some signs that she's interested in you before you ask her out? That would help. <laughs> <laughs> that would help with your nerve, right? You say, "Oh, oh, maybe she is interested." Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, smile. Mm -hmm. So how? So if if. She has to be approaching. I seem like she's approaching now. She can get a girl, <laughs> a snare. <laughs> they don't even don't even check. Like, oh, okay, maybe I won't. Right? Yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay. So, are you finding a lot of mean women? I think. Or bitter? No, I think. I think really, for the most part, women they want to be approached or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I think they. Put the defense mechanism up to kind of guard off the ones who they don't want, right? <laughs> but in doing that, the you ones who might, the... yeah, who might want to approach them, like they see the same guards up like right. that, and, that's and true. they're scared off too. That's true. So that's that's, true. that's the only thing. So it's kind of hard to gauge. <laughs> okay. So how do you gauge then? Since it's hard, what do you do? Well. Uh, Maybe if it's, you know, like common place where I'm at, it's more okay. easy. Like if I'm at a grocery store, you know, okay. so I might see, hey, now, nah. like, you ever try this product, whatever thing, I might be going to get, how's this? And then you start a conversation that it'd be more natural. But if I see them on a bus stop, I'm so it might be, it might be hard to do, right? Because they kind of got their guards up here and they're outside there. And then okay. we relax maybe at a, you know, my, a laundry mat yeah, or something, or something like, that. like that. Okay. Yeah. Are you opposed to being set up on blind dates? No, no, okay. no. Just want to be, be <laughs> cute. I want to be. <laughs> so, do you want to see her? Because some women, I have a nice. girlfriend. Yeah, nice. I have a girlfriend that she doesn't like any, no pictures or anything. She wants for it to completely be when we, when she meets up with the guy. I personally don't like that, but I kind of you want to see what the right. person looks yeah, like. Yeah, because I'd be disappointed and. <laughs> Then I got to drag through the date, like, <laughs> you know, I 
really don't want to be here in this date, right? <laughs> so, I'm, you know, I'd be pretending like <laughs> most of the time. So, yeah. Kind of like push. That would be nice. Yeah, but, I mean, I would be imposed with like that. I would think that the person who was setting up would know me and even kind of know that maybe, yeah, I would, I would like, like her that. or something. Yeah, okay. at least, yeah. Type. So, what's your type? Let us know. What's my type? Certain size, certain height. I like dark skinned girls. I do chocolate. Oh my god, that's my ultimate, right? Okay. That's why I said I just got enough to to say a girl coming to West Uh Anderson, dark chocolate. And I just got up enough nerve to, you know, say hi and tell her how beautiful (laughs) she was. Okay. But that's what all the dark. But I mean, do you have an age limit that you prefer? Yeah, the older I get. I mean, I don't want like no, I don't say 20 something. If they're like 30, maybe 30 and above, okay. then I can say, I don't really want to know. Because so, my daughter's like 30, 30. so I'll be like, I feel funny. <laughs> That's somebody, my daughter, they just, she can be like, oh, going to be my mother in law, right? Or my mom. Uh, you know, so there'd be a problem with, with my older okay. daughter, right? So, yeah, Which, can she be older than you or your age? Or? Older than me? Not much older. <laughs> I mean, I'm 56 now, right? So, so can you know. she be 56? She can be maybe up to 60, but okay. I don't know, past 60, I don't know. Okay. feeling kind of weird about it. I mean, but it depends. Some people, they kind of mm-hmm. age well and mm-hmm. real, real, real good, so yeah, it depends. Short, like. um, tall, thick. I like short or tall. I like long legs, too. Okay. I like girls Slim, long. heavy, does it matter? Um, they can be kind of overweight, just not really heavy. But you, you know, you get... Girls that are, I mean, I like. Sometimes I like big, tall girls that just they're, they're just tall, they're big, and that long legs, mm-hmm. right? And tall, good. Um, be slender. I like short girls too. Okay, so you girls. so you don't have a, a preference person. You just like chocolate. That's the only thing that you. But that not to say that you wouldn't date a light. light no, 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 I'm saying no. Okay. No, I'm not saying. I mean, that's I, I always. Uh, just dream there. <laughs> okay. I did have dark girlfriends before, though. Okay. You know, and uh, I've had light girlfriends, too, so I mean, that's really the, okay. not a big difference, right? And how important is it that she goes to your church? Meaning, she like... my church? No, she doesn't go to my church. So you, it's she not important that y'all, that you fellowship with her at the same church, so she can uh-uh. be... Uh-uh. Like you say, as long as she's Christian, believe in God, you know, I don't have a problem with going on. Stand on church, I mean, I prefer my church. I ain't seen that Would you time. leave your church to go to her church if if it was a decent church? No, nah, I don't <laughs> think I would. I know I love West Angeles, so I'm not going anywhere. I don't see myself going. Like I say, I got a uh, an ambassador there, mm-hmm. and then I have a, a men's group that I, every Sunday we have a men's group. Is that with Richard Kennedy? Uh, no, no. Okay. This is this is a men's fellowship. It's just called a. Disciplines of a Godly Man. We're working on this book. Okay. So we'll go chapter by chapter and break it down that, that each chapter and just just man issues. So what have you learned and, in this and, book? And uh, <clears throat> then we, um, well, we just, we well, actually wasn't in the book, but the last two weeks we had this thing called uh, it was prayer. It's one of the, the elders, actually, he was a, he's head over the, the education department at mm-hmm. West Angeles. But he had to put it like a two, two, three page thing on a prayer, uh, and uh, just what it means prayer and building up, you know. Okay. Edifying the church, edifying the spirit, communicating two way communication with God, right? So it was a whole thing. So we spent the last couple of weeks just going through that, you know. Okay. Yeah, but each each chapter has a different theme, you know. One's on leadership, one's on um, <clears throat> anything or something like that. Uh, each chapter is different, so we just explore that. And it's a men's group, and they're just getting started, so we're kind of like the founding people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Hoping to keep good. it going, but you know, it's kind of hard. That's one thing about men. It's hard to get men together. I know. I know. You know we talked about that. Uh, uh, that's why we went to like dinner. We was in the restaurant, and I just asked her, how many times have you seen men, five or six men, go to a formal restaurant, sit down and eat? You know. But you, uh, next table was like five or six women. women. Oh, yeah, we've like, never time. seen that. Yeah. We go, Why is that? We kind of independent spirit, man. We kind of like go out and conquer them. A lot of times we're in competition with other men. So, 
you know, we have buddies and stuff, right? But we don't, you know, uh, actually get together. A group less is like a game or something. We can get together and do that. But right, it's just fellowship to sit around or That's not just talking. Thing. Yeah, we don't gather like that, you know, or eat like that. <laughs> we might go. We, we get four or five. Or we'll go to Jack and Box and get a burger. But we don't never say we're going to the restaurant and sit down like that. We don't, we don't do that. Okay. So maybe that's something that you can, that could be your, uh, what you could work on to get men together to read this book, Jimmy Evans, Marriage on the Rock. It's an amazing book that um, for men and women on uh, the foundations of marriage and how to stay married. That's why I love having these conversations to talk about what we did wrong uh, within ourselves and how, what we're doing to, um, better ourselves, like you are in this group, and you know, mm -hmm. with your church that's helping you. Yeah, you so I'm really that was part of my education, trying to uh, better myself. You know, as a man, just being around like man and Chris, you know, Christian men, right? Learn a lot, you know, you know how the Bible said iron sharpens iron. That's right. So we 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 get together and we have things in common, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of things I could you know bring up there. You know, discuss with men and how to you know. You talk about it like relationships and right. stuff and, and those groups. And then we can kind of see, because it's been pretty much always guarded. You know, we always, you know, have oh, those yeah. guarded. We don't, yeah, we want to show our vulnerabilities, <laughs> especially on women, right? Yeah, so, right? But men, you know, sometimes we can, we can, even when I'm in, it's kind of hard work. You know, we're in a safe place and everybody's sharing a story. And yeah, we, we let ourselves down and we can really talk to someone about it, you know, get to the bottom of stuff. Okay. Well, our hour, gosh, it went by so quick. We are finished. Anything else you want to leave the ladies that you want to talk, to, um, leave us with? Some pearls mm -hmm. of wisdom? <laughs> well, I say ladies, don't give a whole. I think ladies, a lot of them kind of reside in, or in their hearts that they can't find, like, you know, a person. A lot of them, you know, they, I guess, throw themselves into their word right. or in the church and right. stuff. And they say, well, it's going to happen, God. Right. Sometimes you got to be... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be active, you know. Like right. I say, just like with courage guys who out there, courage the lady. Sometimes you gotta step up and, and, and ask a man. Like I say, we we generally love that. I bet you do. We do love that mm -hmm. when women ask, you know, that stuff. Then they we already know. So it kinda of, okay, oh, it kinda, of, you know, gets our courage up. Okay. If somebody initially say, Oh, I like you, I like you smile, you've been around and you start and you and you uh Strike up a conversation with us first. Oh yeah, and it's, 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 <laughs> it's better. Go. Yeah, it's good to go. Okay. So, you know, it's it's, it's so for uh, uh, women. You know, I know so many. I always think is a lot of women, and they really like lonely. Seem like you know, okay, but they don't know how to reach out. They guess the guy or the, the type of guy they want. Right. <laughs> they want to kind of guard out, here, which is understandable. You know, guys are just hounds are just out there. You right. know, but they, they you know try to get some of one. You know, you guess you have to kind of navigate through so okay. trying out what you want, but don't be, you know, afraid to try. try That's it. why I'm getting back out there. Okay. I'm trying to date and I'm trying to find the right one. one. So okay. Maybe she's out there somewhere. Maybe, maybe she's audience. out there. Maybe you're the out of this 200 and something odd women. Maybe she is. Uh, wow, Tim, thank you so much for joining me uh, today. This has yeah. been an amazing conversation yeah. just about relationships and your experiences. And hopefully someone, I know someone has been blessed and um, they're going to learn from this and they'll have a testimony and I'll be able to tell you. Great, the testimony. great. I love to hear it. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. Next week, we're going to talk about dating. We're going to define it. Um, what is dating? <laughs> we talked a little bit about it today, but we're going to um, actually go from the Bible and give you some examples about dating. We need to kind of get into that mm -hmm. so we kind of know what dating, you know, right. the, the new wave of dating. New wave of dating. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.